Taivaan syksyinen yö, tyrskyt kannelle lyö, tuulen laulua synkkä meri kantaa. Sitä purjehtia, minkä valtaansa saa, aallot piuloita Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but take a card and fast, and then uh, I don't get rid of the great weather. Well, you want to cook both, both windows first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're just saying make sure the second cabin that you cut, that there's no bodies in there or anything that's going to float out uh, if you leave it unattended. Yeah, I'm going to take all Deck six, cabin six one two nine. Okay, you ready? Oh, we're ready whenever you are. Just a few minutes ago. You ready, Jack? When you're ready, everyone knows. Okay, it's short. We're not getting a bad area. Bad area's clear. Okay, this room is clear. This cabin is clear. Roger. Uh, we've got some, uh, some in it. Roger. Okay, the Opening the door, Roger. Was it open or locked? Uh, it was open. It was open, Roger. Uh, what did they do to you out there? My camera. Take sides. Michael Jackson.
Recapping our top story for you once again as information continues to come in, a U.S. air jet carrying approximately 126 people on board has crashed near Pittsburgh International Airport. There was no immediate word on survivors, but the latest word we are getting from some emergency personnel and witnesses at the scene is that there do not appear to be... receiving live pictures from the scene. Uh, this is west of Aliquippa in Hopewell Township. Uh, it's about 20 miles northeast of Pittsburgh. Let's listen in to some of the commentary from CNN affiliate KDKA and, and see what they've learned from the scene. There's people running back there like crazy trying to you know, see if we could help, but all we've seen was body parts hanging from the trees and um, just people everywhere. If you could just see just parts of them. Oh, hi, Roz, it's you. Uh, <laughs> and you look radiant. I look like crap. <laughs> got a spot on my dress, I overplucked one eyebrow, and the crotch of my pantyhose is creeping down to my knee. Couldn't you have just done that on the elevator? Oh, my goodness, Roz, you've got a neck. The White House. The good news is President Clinton and his family are safe and sound there tonight. The better news is they were sleeping across Pennsylvania Avenue at Blair House early this morning when White House security was penetrated. Corder flew south along 17th Street, just above treetop level, buzzing Blair House before hooking a J-turn near the Washington Monument and descending directly over formal gardens and temporary bleachers onto the White House south lawn. The Cessna came down 50 feet short of the White House, tearing up grass and shattering against a 160-year-old magnolia tree. Bits of the plane scratched White House walls, cracked a window, and came to rest just two floors below the presidential bedroom. He's not going back to steal money. Stay here, Walker. My future, you're dead. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Ron Silver. Will you get him? Mia Sara. Dr. Green. What is it? Patient for you, Dr. Green. Can't the intern take it? No, it's for you. What time is it? Five o'clock. thing about having Chandler as a friend is that I get to have a relationship with a guy where there is absolutely no sexual tension. None? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Interesting, because I uh, felt the other night when we went to that barbecue place, you were kind of looking at me, kind of. <laughs> no, I was looking at you because you had that huge piece of cord in your chest. <laughs> Friends, Thursdays this fall on NBC. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back, one for each of your victims. So be it. I believe in two things. Discipline. Help me, Dad! In the Bible. Here you'll receive both. Andy came to Shawshank Prison in 1947. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gonna fit right in. One twenty-four this morning, the ferry boat Estonia suddenly sank into the icy waters of the Baltic Sea. The tragedy has united the peoples of Estonia, Sweden and Finland in grief. Den Estnis flaggade passagerarfärjan i Estonia. During daylight hours, helicopters again scanned the Baltic. Empty life vests evidence they were in from the... severe hypothermia after hours spent in the darkness and the cold Baltic Sea. Rescuers have given up hope now of finding anyone else alive and will be concentrating on locating the Estonia on the sea. Exactly what caused this disaster is still unclear. Estonia is to set up a joint inquiry with Sweden and Finland to sift through all the evidence and establish the cause. So uh, you going down the river all along? No, no, me and a couple of my buddies. Come on, it's been a What about you? Who are you going with? My mom. Yeah, pull it! Yeah, this is a pretty tough river. She used to be a guide here. Come on! Hey there! What he was doing with the oars didn't look that hard, so we just headed down the river. We saw this. That's when we decided to wait for you guys. They dipped it in over their heads, and they lost their guide. They just think something's off. Can you keep a secret?